everyone I hope you're having an amazing day um, so today we're gonna talk about the strategy pattern right um, so it is a part of a behavior pattern right um, so the the reason why we use strategy pattern uh, in a scenario think about a scenario where you have to uh, choose a different algorithm uh, during the runtime now you might wonder what am I talking about right okay I explain you giving an example right um, Consider a scenario, right, where in an organization, right, you need to pay salaries to people, right? <clears throat> um, so you might have, excuse me, uh, you might have um, contractors working for you. You might have a developers working for you. You might have an architect working for you, right? And different people have a different uh, pay rate. Right? Some get paid 50 bucks an hour. Some get paid 200 bucks an hour. Some gets paid right so imagine you have to develop that in a class right let's say I have this class called strategy pattern and it's consumed by uh, whatever uh, calling application right now you have one easy choice which you can do right to you can say okay uh, let's say w calculate the salary of uh, you can write something like this public uh, integer right uh, calculate um, uh, architect uh, pay right uh, something like that and then you can uh, write something like that public integer uh, calculate uh, you can put decimal here but just for the sake of simplicity I'm using integer just to give you a uh, context right you can say junior uh, dev pay uh, these pays are based on a pay grade scale grade like some companies have scales right p1 p2 or s1 s2 whatever right uh, you know uh, staff engineer one staff engineer two whatever whatever right just for the sake of simplicity assume that this is based on a pay grade uh, grade scale so let's say uh, for a junior dev pay you're getting paid like 60 bucks an hour right <clears throat> so uh, similarly you have for senior dev so now imagine you have to write all this method for individual it looks cumbersome right and it's not really uh, a object-oriented practice right this is absolutely not an object-oriented practice you are basically uh, writing a spaghetti code in, in simple terms right you're putting all the methods in one class and then imagine uh, this class is consumed by a you know you're exposing this class to you know as a package or whatever and then someone else has to consume it then imagine what gonna happen right you have to uh, if, if someone says oh look I wanted to include the pay of uh, let's say a president of the company right then because you have started a new role uh, in a company called a vice president for whatever reason right and then you have to include the vice president here as well so imagine how much uh, it's a bad practice, right? You have to write, you know, all those functions here. And that's pretty much uh, garbage practice. End of story, right? Okay, so that's where the strategy pattern comes in the picture, right? So what we're going to do to solve this problem, right? We're going to create an interface here. So this is called IPay Salary. Um, or you can name whatever you want. So, and uh, integers, or you can normally should be using um, decimal because, you know, salaries can be in cents or depending upon which country you're from, some countries do not have cents. So, uh, let's not get into that. Uh, okay, so, uh, so assume that for, for the sake of argument, it's getting uh, in a form of, um, uh, you know, like thousands or five thousand or ten thousand, something like that, without any cents, right? So, um, I've created an interface, right? And then I've created uh, a something called contract worker, right? Which implements, and then I, you know, say, this is what I want, 140 bucks for a contract worker, right? Uh, as a pay rate for an hour. Uh, so, and we'll multiply by a uh, number of hours, right? Uh, he or she works. So that will give the, the salary for that time. Um, right? And then we have a junior developer uh, implementing the same interface and then we have an architect implementing the same interface right getting paid 175 bucks an hour right um so and let's say so we have implemented this right nice and easy and now to, to run this is pretty straightforward um you just go to uh execute window and something like that right so what we have done so i'm using the same method right get pay 
and I'm initi uh, initiating a, a new instance of uh, the class you want to pass. For instance, um, you wanted to, uh, let's say, system.debug, <coughs> and just going to copy this one. And so we're going to, let's say, you're going to do uh, junior dev, right? So junior dev, right? And all work 40 hours, so um, so you're going to get paid uh, something that's 2,800 bucks, right? Okay, now, uh, uh, as I mentioned, right, about uh, this company decided to uh, start a new role of vice president, right? Now, I don't want this class to be impacted, but anyways, forget about this, right? Once uh, I, I write this, I don't want it to touch it anymore, right? So what we're going to do, so we're going to create a new class, right? Um, so called VP, VP class, let's have VP class, right? And then uh, I implement, right? I implement I pay salary, right? And then I will uh, copy paste this, right? And then I'm gonna do, let's say, watch person is getting paid 400 bucks an hour, right? Okay, so, um, right? So we implement a VP class, right? Now, look at this scenario, right? I wanted to add a new uh, pay code, a pay salary for a vice president. I did that without impacting strategy pattern class whatsoever, right? Now, how to use it? It's pretty straightforward. You go to the same window here and go here and then say, assume that this is your calling program, which consumes uh, the strategy pattern class, right? <laughs> so what I have to do is that VP um, class, uh, right, and then you execute it, and then I will. Oh, sorry, no filter. <coughs> there you are, uh, sixteen thousand bucks, right, for forty hours. So you see the simplicity of uh, you know behavior pattern. So I it lets me choose algorithm uh, in a runtime. That's exactly what I've done. Right, I haven't changed anything. I haven't changed the strategy pattern class whatsoever. So we rely on interface. Uh, you can use this in different application. You can use this um, in different scenario, right? Where you believe that you got to choose a different logic or different algorithms in the runtime, right? You can take an example of a shopping cart, right? Where you get discounts based on different days or different months, right? You can use this pattern there as well. Um, like I give you a very simple example. In my case, we use this, you know, for a salary calculation, you know, you can use this as one example, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, this is one of the patterns, which is, uh, I'm not sh sure it's quite often used, but it used in a, uh, you know, uh, in a situation like this, right, where you need to, to pick and choose and go out them at the run time. So in that case, you use it. Otherwise, um, you pretty much won't have to use this one, right? Because that's why I said in the beginning, you got to choose the design pattern wisely, right? You can't use this for every single problem out there. That's not the purpose of design pattern. Every design pattern serves a different purpose, right? Factor pattern does a different pat a uh, different purpose. A uh, facade a uh, facade pattern uh, serves a different purpose. Strategy pattern uh, serves a different you know a different purpose. So you need to understand the business requirement and then see whether you can use any of this pattern. Design patterns are very important, right? You need to understand that very well. No matter uh, what kind of programmer you are, you can be a Java developer, uh, you can be a JavaScript developer, you can be a c -sharp developer, Python, a small talk. Um, I'm not sure about COBOL because I haven't used it, so, right? Um, I mean, I don't know if, if we can use any design pattern there, so. If any COBOL programmer out there can uh, testify that, if they if they use any design better, I have no idea about COBOL. So, uh, okay, all right. Sorry, I digress. All right, so that's all I wanted to talk about today. It's a, it's a very short session today. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed the session, and uh, I hope you got some value out of today's session. Uh, thank you very much for attending. Uh, adios and greetings from New Zealand. Bye bye.